Anastasia Metallic Mini Liquid Lip Set. And it's the mini, uh, I think it was meant for the holidays. It's the mini holiday version. Um, my good friend Carly actually got me it for Secret Santa, but we didn't do ours till later. And I have not opened it yet. I was so mad I forgot to take it with me for uh, New Year's because that was pretty much the only time I've gone out since then and I didn't get to wear it. So let's open it up. Let's see what this thing's got going on. So it has the three colors here. So clear on the package, actually on the back, it looks like a light pink. It's called Blizzard. And then we have Phantom with the red dark in the middle. And then we have Mai Tai. Now, even before we start, I tried to buy one like this before. I'll show you it actually so I can compare. And it would harden into this goop on my lips. And all I wanted was like that really metallic shine on top. And it was just brutal. So, and I think I'm really gonna like my top. First, let's swatch these bad boys. And let's start with Blizzard, the clear one. Whoa, this is like right in there, in that packaging. Let's get this out. There we go, Blizzard. That was my chair, by the way. <laughs> okay, so yeah, now I see why it's like a pink on the back of the packaging, because it's like the glare of it. So look at that. So this is from far away, can't see it too clearly. And right up close, you can kind of see the pinky tinge to the white. That's nice, that's exactly what I wanted the other one to be like, but it was not. So let's swatch Phantom next to it, which is the red. Nice deep, seems very smooth. Wow, it's so soft. I hope this doesn't clump on like that other one. Wow, that's really nice. Actually, I might, I might like it. Really look, the formula is so nice. Okay, lastly, Mai Tai. This is kind of what I go for as well. Oh, another one to compare. I wanted gold sparkly lipstick. Why is it so hard to find? gold sparkly lipstick something like this not super gold but kind of a nice goldy brown and again mac it uh got all clumped up like what the hell and i trust you mac oh this is really nice i know i'm gonna like this one wow so soft honestly look at that Feels amazing. We'll try these bad boys on my actual lips now, and I'm also gonna show you guys them compared. Now first, I wanna compare the ones that I was uh, explaining that ended up being really bad quality on, and I honestly can't wear them because every time I do, it clumps up all over my lips and it just looks awful, it looks really bad. I still have the other swatches on. So this is the one that reminds me of Mai Tai. It's MAC and it is called Frost and it's A75. Whoa, whoops. <laughs> okay, so let's put that on here. Let's clean the top first because I think I put it over top of a pink and that's kind of the only way I can wear it is when I put on a very small amount. Oh yeah, see they are very similar. Okay, look at this. Right underneath my tie, I have MAC Frost. It's a lipstick, it's not liquid. I, uh, it's kind of melty too. So you, a lot of my other ones haven't done that. So I don't know what happened with this one, but it's definitely not as good quality as the other MACs because I do really like um, MAC lipstick. So I don't know what the deal is, but the only time I can wear it now is when I have lip stuff on and I kind of dab a tiny bit because I do like the look of it. But again, it just gets really goopy and bad quality and it almost like dries out all over your lips. Now, this one in comparison, this is the one I was thinking about for uh, the first shade I did, Blizzard. So it has more color to it, but okay, so here's Blizzard on the top. 
Now this is Urban Decay Vice Special Effects and I have color Fever. And it just says lip top coat. So it's, I guess you're supposed to wear it on top of stuff, which is fine, which is what I usually do. Here it is. This one's even worse, maybe. Looks off. It's gonna look good on the swatch. You would have to wear it for a bit to see the crumpling up of it. So maybe it'll show later. So this is Fever on top now as you can see it is of course more of an orangey tinge but it's metallic in the sense that when i move it it has the same shimmer as blizzard and i don't think you'll be able to see it on here but do you see what i'm saying like that center co color when i move it on the fever it looks pretty similar but again dries out and i don't even put much on it was a deal two for whatever so that was Fever, and this is Flame. I got it because I thought, okay, if one of them isn't the best, the other will be good, and it was like a, a deal for two. This one does kind of the same thing. Now, I'm not a huge Urban Decay person for lip stuff. I'd have, I think this is my first time getting from them. And so this is the Flame on top. And just look at the consistency. It's like a glob. So I'm gonna say I don't like Urban Decay lip products. I don't think I do because I got two and they both aren't very good. So let's take off what I have on my lips right now. Let's go first Blizzard. Wow goes on quite wet because it's obviously liquid. Now remember, I don't have anything on under this, so I could easily layer it, which I do with a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna put on a crazy amount because I don't think you need it. Okay, so nothing under it. I think I would definitely have on something. I think it's like a translucent purple white shimmer. I mean, it's cool, completely cool. I just think I would wear it with, even if I had maybe a nude on underneath and just added some shine to it. Definitely neat. So that is Blizzard. I have just taken, wiped it off and let's move on to Phantom next. Again, I don't usually, I have a few shades that are similar to this, but I don't wear it often. Very strong smell. Should have used a brush. I'm gonna make it even. Gotta add a bit more actually. I have that little cupid bow at the top of my lips, so sometimes I have to make sure. It's covering the whole section of it. Okay, wow, this is dark, but really nice. I wish I had this. Now, I look. I feel like since I dyed my hair blonde, I look scary with dark lipstick, so I've honestly been wearing nude and clear 24 seven. What do you guys think? Do I look like devil or something? Either way, smells amazing, goes on nicely. It is very weightless. And smooth, and that's actually what it says, I think, on the thing. It says, um, long wear, high pigment, metallic liquid. And when I was reading up on it, I think it said it'll last for 24 hours without uh, splotching or whatever it is. Now, I'm in the process of taking off Phantom right now. And, oh my god, you would not have to reapply this through a whole night. Even I find... Uh, good quality lipstick like MAC 
which I have quite a bit of, I have to reapply it a lot. This is right on there, and I have makeup remover on this. Oh yeah, I gotta get off a bit of my foundation in order to get it off. Look like a clown a bit now. Oh my god. That will last you all night. Do not worry about that. If you want to put it on once and go to a Hollywood day party and eat and drink, it would stay on all night. And I think, honestly, I know it's a holiday collection. You could wear this other places. Blizzard is more, it has to be your style, I think, in order to kind of pull that off. But um, I still really like it. Okay, I'm going into my tie, guys. My tie, my tie. See, this is like what I wanted when I purchased Frost from MAC. Takes a couple times to cover the whole lips. Love it. Again, you could easily put something on under this to give it more of a different shade if it's not your favorite. It is a very strong pigment gold shine and I think it is awesome. I am really impressed. So I wanted this. I must have said it in our group chat before she got it for me because we were all listing things that we would like because we did a $100 limit. So we actually got each other lots of different stuff. Um, I wanted it, but I didn't know if it was going to look good because I've never tried it, right? And it's kind of out there, but I know I like out there lipstick sometimes. Like, I am someone who likes to wear that, so I am quite impressed with the formula and everything. So I'm looking at it right now. Cruelty free, of course. Very nice. Vegan. And uh, the price. So it's a value of $60. That's what it said last night on the website when I looked. So maybe the price has gone down or is on sale. Right now it's Canadian for $33. I'm assuming she got it on sale as well. I think um, she probably bought it when it was uh, the Black Friday deals going on because she got me so much other stuff so it wouldn't have made sense. But yeah, I think this is an awesome set for something a bit different and I'm quite happy with it. So yeah. That is my review, and um, if you want to get it, I think you should. I think it's great, and again, add something on top, add something underneath. I really like this uh, holiday set, and I think I am going to use it. Okay, thank you guys for watching my first ever makeup review. It's actually really fun. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not pretending that I am. I am highly not. But I think everyone likes a good review on products when they're interested in buying them because you want to know what it looks like, what it feels like, is it worth your money? And this is definitely a fun set. If you don't like fun lip colors, don't buy it. It's not for you. Stick with your nudes. But anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe like usual. And I hope you guys like the video. If you have more things that you want me to um make reviews for i would love to so feel free comment away and i hope you guys all have a good one bye